greetings and gratitude to all life forms and life workers who have found this. Timeless happy birthday, January 22nd. I am your host, the Third Eye Lion. Welcome. If you are here because you are searching for information on the zodiac archetypes, if you are here because it's your birthday or you're here because you know someone whose birthday it is and you would like to learn more, know that you're welcome. Thank you for being here. And I would like to say that it's more important for this zodiac, I'm going to say when it's more important, but it's always the case, is that free will overrides any zodiac or free prediction of destiny. I'm going to use the word destiny in other things. You still have choices, you still have free will options. If this resonates with you, then go with it, and if not, leave it behind. Because you are a visionary, and because you're a visionary, you know what you want based on other experiences, other archetypes, other destiny bonds or relations that you have that you can perceive that others can't. So the more that you can better steer the ship, understand the currents. I really am getting a vision that reminds me of a memory, so I'm going to share the memory. So I was a kid, and I would look at the moon, and I would imagine what if it was a port for flying cell ships because I always wanted to go sailing and I never have been so to this day but I, I'm fascinated by sailing as a metaphor so as the sailing ship docks in the moon and there's a huge bay and I visioned this as a kid and then a few months later a Disney movie called Treasure Planet came out recommend it if you haven't seen it but in that movie there's a segment where there's a flying spaceport on the moon with big galleons that fly in space. I think that's fascinating for me. And it's a good vision for you as a visionary is how would it be if you could navigate the winds and the movements and the vibrations and storms of the universe to go from where you want to go? How are you going to do that and what is the balance that can be made in doing that? How can you look inward and outward at the same time? How can you say, okay, this is the crew, these are the beings that live on the ship helping operate it. This is where we're going, and this is the forces around us. How can all three exist in harmony? But it takes a visionary to contemplate that, to even think about it in the first place. If not, it's never going to be contemplated, and never even be conceived. So... Um, continuing on that trend, uh, the dark side and at the best side, light side, um, these are just interpretations, these are feelings, these are concepts that others may have labeled you or you labeled yourself. They're not negative, they're not positive, they're just concepts. And uh, oftentimes it would be labeled as light or dark or best and worst, but headstrong and groundbreaking, imaginative but acts on impulse, volatile, but passionate to the highest order. So how can these, and I'll add a few, the, those are the ones from the book. Just so you know, I'm using the Element Encyclopedia of Birthdays as a reference. I'm extrapolating my own information. And the Element Encyclopedia is by Teresa Chung, and the cards I will be using is Beyond Lumeria by Izzy Ivey. I'm going to add some positive qualities to you here. Thank you for that diversion. I appreciate you. And because you are appreciative, it seems also that with being appreciative, others can say that you are egotistical. So there is always a positive and negative to things. And within you, there's a bureaucracy and tandem. I'm getting the tandem is a good word and is a good idea for you, the visionary. You can ride a bike by yourself. You know how to ride a bike by yourself. You enjoy riding a bike by yourself. But what is a different experience of riding a tandem bike? I never have. So if you conceive it in your mind, think about two people in harmony, two different frequencies of momentum, balanced communication, all operating in the same time, in the same progress. Try to think about those two aspects of you, either the positive and the negative, 
it depends who sits in front, who sits in back, but have both of them ride the bike. Have that darkest part of you, that shadow side. Have that light side, that sun side. Both ride the bike together and see that they can build a positive relationship where the dark becomes more light and the light understands that it was already dark in aspects that it didn't even understand. It doesn't change, it just realizes things that, were, that could not be perceived from its own perspective. So, I'm going to go to Destiny. No, you can overwrite this very much as your own visionary. But I see clearly that you're going to build a one relationship to a next, where the people who you talk to, the people who you get to know, you will show them introspection, contemplation, and inward thought in ways they haven't. And this is potentially amazing to some people. This is life-shifting, changing information to some individuals that you can actually conceive, perceive, and question reality to any degree. And that, yes, you can operate under a fundamental truth like most people do, but within that truth you can explore outside of the reef. You can go outside of the boundaries of what you think is necessarily safe because you know the safety of yourself and your nature and environment around you. So, uh, Uranus is the visionary. If you didn't already know, your sun sign is Aquarius. And the birthstone is Amethyst. This is in the American Hemisphere. But the universally, just kind of as an archetype, no matter where you are in the world and the seasonalities and what time of day, like, because oftentimes you were born at multiple days, if you actually do the global math, I think that's more important for you, the visionary, is to look at the day before this and the day after this. The videos I'm going to make, they might resonate more than this one will because of the idea that your zodiac might have been the zodiac from another time zone at the time you were born, which would either be yesterday or tomorrow, theoretically. So... I'm getting strong to tell you that. Favorable numbers are four and five. Sky blue, silver, and turquoise. Really beautiful turquoise. And the crystal, the the energy of that color is good to to be around as well as your birthstone amethyst. It's gonna really help you connect your energies better. Because your career is gonna help you lead towards a pilot, an astronaut, a travel guide personal navigators, um, airline personnel, I'm getting musicians, actors, bards, troubadours, uh, celebrity of, of chef, even a poet, um, archit architect, I'm getting, so there's, but you're a visionary, you have this vision, you have this blue sky idea, and you know how to take that blue sky abstract and turn it into physical manifest reality that is undeniable. That is, here it is, this is it, you know it is. Here it, okay, we can't fight it. Because when you have a vision and you see it so clearly in your mind, you know what it wants to be at the other side. But you don't know how to physically do the thing to make it happen. But the visionary understands that how to break it down into pieces and what piece needs to be done to get to the bigger whole. And... Not surprisingly, you really have an approach to life that allows multiple critics to just criticize you, to just tell you that what you're doing is not important, and so you can look inward and, and regardless of what others think, see that benefit of what you're doing is positive for the greater and individual good to a way that doesn't overhaul its own dangers. Those dangers are there. They don't have to be fully removed, but we have to learn how to cope with the dangers. I don't think we should remove danger. I think we should learn how to coexist with danger and minimize it and in ways that can be minimized, but I don't think if you can, can ever truly get away of danger because by getting rid of danger, you get rid of freedom. Freedom allows danger. It's the the cost of freedom is a possibility of danger. And, but when you feel that that danger is minimized, it's not going to happen, it is, you're protected, your connection to the earth is 
set or whatever spiritual protection you use, it is always good to to see a, that you might be avoiding to commit to a personal project. There's something in your field there that your energy is not wanting to commit to. When you're in it and you feel it, and you can just know that this is not being committed to, and you want to work on that to the best you can. Your power thought or affirmation is I choose balance, harmony, and peace, and I express it in my life. I will phrase that as, within me is the totality of all, that is it, and I am cool with it. Okay. You can phrase it however you want. It is your affirmation. Be that visionary. Be that person to create that for you. Thank you. I'm going to pull your card now. I appreciate your time. Life force energy is all around us if you choose to surrender to it. Surrender is your card. And as you see that one of my favorite symbols in the universe, the two circles overlapping, when you have this dark extreme, this positive extreme, there can exist a space in between that is neither positive or negative but is both at the same time. Within that is the things that share the qualities of both, are magnetized together. But this only happens when the other ones surrender from it. Within you is that two circles. You are that space in between, if you choose to be that I. Within that I is the I of surrender. Surrender to the moon, surrender to the sun, surrender to the forces of nature, but also surrender to that fact of reality that you've been denying. Surrender to that reality-shifting vortex of space and time in which all moments exist forever. But you don't want to be it. You don't want to see forever because you think you will miss out on something. Surrender to this forever if you choose in this next year. Know that there will be multiple opportunities for surrender. Look to them, and if you want, the affirmation I'm getting very strongly is... Seat belts on, ejector launch. Imagine it in your head, visualize it, and that instead of the word surrender, make it imaginative, create it with your vision, if it and change it if that affirmation does not work for you. Again, your free will supersedes anything I said here. I appreciate your time and your space, and welcome to this new year of your life. Much appreciation.